Butch Harmon is widely considered as one of the world's best golf coaches. It's a title he's held for coming on eight years. It's a label given credence through the annual Golf Digest magazine poll of his coaching peers. Harmon knows that in between majors, there's time to make few swing changes. But when his players arrive on course, it's all about fine-tuning their game. Well, you wouldn't be making any changes here. I mean, if you made any changes here, the, the guy would have some drastic problems. You should have done all your work before you got here. Uh, it's more talking about the golf course, getting used to the greens, getting used to pitching the ball around here. There's tight lies around the greens. You have to play shots a little differently around the greens. So you spend a lot of time in the short game, not as much time on the range. Ernie Els, Tiger Woods, Adam Scott, and Phil Mickelson, many of the world's best, have employed Harmon's coaching services. All have their own particular strengths. For Mickelson, it's always been his short game. He's got the best short game in the world, I think, and so we work on his driving, we work on his iron play. I've learned a lot from Phil around the greens. I mean, if you think about the guys that I've had the opportunity to spend a lot of time with, uh, Greg Norman, uh, Jose Mariello Othabel, Sebi Ballesteros, Tiger Woods, uh, Phil Mickens. These guys' short games are phenomenal, so I've learned as much from them as they've learned from me. And then you just kind of put your own take on it and go from there. But it, it, it's fun for me to have had the opportunity to teach the best players in the world because I get to see how the best players play, and you just have to keep learning from it. Confidence and self-belief play a huge part in the success of the world's best. Harmon admits at times that he plays the role of a counselor when it's needed. You've got to know uh, when to give a guy a hug, when to kick him in the rear end, when to make him laugh. And I think the fact that I've played in major championships and played the tour has really helped me along those lines. I never was as good as the guys I teach, but I wasn't bad. And I had my moments, so I know what they're going through mentally as well as physically. Harmon is one of four sons of the 1948 Masters champion Claude Harmon. And like father, like son, Butch spent time out on tour. And that makes for valuable experience when working with some of the world's best. I played the tour in the late 60s and early 70s and I wasn't very successful with it, but gave it a try. I've always loved to teach. Uh, even when I was a junior golfer, I was always helping the other junior golfers. So it's something I always wanted to do. Uh, I think it's a credit to how we feel about our father that all four of his sons became very uh, accredited teaching professionals and we're all, we were very proud of that. So what makes one coaching technique more popular than others? Well, I think you have to not have a system, number one. I don't believe in systems. I think you have to be open-minded. You have to always try and learn and improve your skills. The thing that I could say that I do consistently is I try never to change what someone does naturally, just try and make it a little better. Because what an, a person does naturally in their motion is always going to be there. And if you try and completely take that out, you're going to ruin them. So it doesn't matter whether it's a high handicap or a professional. If we can keep them doing what they do naturally, just make it a little better, we have a little success.